Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this an equilateral triangle ABC as you can see in this figure along with a circle with center O and D is the point of tangency and moreover the area of the circle is 9 pi and now we are going to calculate the side length of this equilateral triangle ABC. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. We know that the area of this given circle is 9 pi. Now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area of a circle formula is A equals to pi r square. Now if we compare this equation and this equation, I can easily write as pi r square equals to 9 pi. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by pi to isolate r. So pi and pi is gone on this side, pi and pi is gone. So we simply got r square equals to 9. And if I take the square root on both sides, this square and square root is gone. So we got r equal to square root of 9 is simply positive 3 since the radius is always positive. So thus the radius of this circle turns out to be 3. So that means this CO is 3 or simply OD is 3 as well. And here's our next step. Let's recall this tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. We know that our radius is this OD and this AB is our tangent line. So therefore they are perpendicular to each other. And now we can see that the length of this line segment CD is simply twice this radius so that means that's going to become 3 plus 3 equal to 6 so therefore the length of CD turns out to be 6 and we know that this is the height of this equilateral triangle ABC and moreover since this triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle that means all these sides are equal in length so therefore this line segment AD and this line segment DB are equal in length and now in this next step let's suppose that the side length of this equilateral triangle is S that means this side is S lowercase s this is lowercase s and this is lowercase s and moreover we know that this db is half of this line segment ab so therefore this db could be equal to s divided by 2 so therefore i can write this line segment db is s over 2 and now let's focus on this right triangle BDC on the right hand side over here. And since this is a right triangle, therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. In our case over here, this horizontal side I'm going to call this side A this vertical side I'm going to call B and this longest leg this hypotenuse BC I am going to call C and now here's our Pythagorean formula A square plus B square equal to C square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case A equals to S over 2 B is 6 and C is lowercase s so thus our equation is going to become S divided by 2 square plus b is 6 square equal to c in our case is s so it's become s square so let's simplify this is going to become s square divided by 4 
plus 36 equal to s square now let's go ahead and remove this fraction to remove this fraction i am going to multiply by 4 across the board with each and every term so that is going to take care of this one this 4 and 4 is gone so we got simply s square plus 4 times 36 is going to become 144 equal to 4 s square now let's go ahead and move this uh, s square on the other side so we simply got 144 equal to 4 s square minus s square so therefore 3 s square turns out to be 144 and since we are running out of space i have just copied it down over here and let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 now so that means this 3 and 3 is gone so we ended up with s square equal to 48 let's take care of the square root on both sides to undo this square this square square root is gone so our s turns out to be positive or negative square root of 48 and now since s represents the side length of this equilateral triangle and the length is always positive so therefore this side length is going to be positive square root of 48 and now let's focus on this square root of 48 i have just copied it down let me show you how to simplify this thing 48 could be written as 16 times 3 two factors let's break it down square root of 16 times square root of 3 and we know square root of 16 is simply 4 so that's going to become 4 times square root of 3 so thus our this side length s turns out to be 4 times square root of 3 so thus the side lengths of this equilateral triangle turns out to be 4 times square root of 3 this side, 4 times square root of 3 this side, and 4 times square root of 3 as well. So thus the side length of this equilateral triangle ABC turns out to be a 4 times square root of 3 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.